Bakhmut's defenses are strengthened. Wagner's supporters are dissatisfied. During a meeting of the general staff, Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, asked Commander-in-Chief Valei Zaluzhny and the head of the Operational Strategic Soldier Group, Alexander Sersky, about future activities in the direction of Bakhmut. Both men voiced their support for the continuation of the defense operation and the further bolstering of Ukraine's positions in Bakhmut. At the meeting, it was decided to enhance Bakhmut's defense. The chief of Russia's Wagner mercenary force warned at the time that Russia's position around the eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut was in jeopardy unless his forces received ammunition. For the time being, we are trying to figure out why Russia's front lines near Bakhmut would or may collapse if his men did not receive the ammunition promised by Moscow in February. Is it just bureaucracy or a betrayal? Before referring to the lack of ammunition, the mercenary chief constantly criticizes Russia's defense chiefs and top generals in his press service Telegram channel last month. In a nearly four-minute video published on the Wagner Orchestra Telegram channel on Saturday, he accused Defense Minister Sergei Shugu and others of treason for withholding supplies of munitions to his men, saying his troops were concerned that the government wanted to set them up as possible scapegoats if Russia lost the war. If Wagner withdraws from Bakhmut right now, the entire front will collapse. According to Prigozhin, the situation will be difficult for all armed groups defending Russian interests, 